It's been a heavy week for light ends, with European gasoline E-Bob really sinking. The October crack lost $8.50 a barrel since the 18th, with this weakness emanating from the US, with the month two rubber tanking to $8.20 a barrel, which is its lowest level since October. Our weakness has been attributed to poor US physical demand and weak New York Harbor, but let's take a look at the RINs. RINs? RINs are renewable identification numbers, and they're like barcodes for renewable additives into gasoline. They help regulators track and promote cleaner fuel use in the US. They're like tradable tickets, where refiners can buy to meet their blending requirements and sell them if they have a surplus. The four RINs are associated with biofuel production, and they have fallen to a dollar a RIN. It's a 16% loss from a week ago and 37% less than two months ago. The soybean oil that is used to make biodiesel has become super cheap due to a bountiful soybean harvest. So they were just churning out the RINs and flooded the RIN market. Look at the price action. We saw D4 dragging the D6 RIN down with heavy trading in the D4, D6 RIN spread. D6 are the credits the gasoline blenders buy to prove compliance. So as the RIN costs of flawed, we saw players pining into short rubber positions in the US Open and have seen ARBs incredibly offered since July. But now RINs have settled and EBOL fundamental strength is dissipating, we're starting to see players buy back their ARBs. And EBOB is taking a hammering, with October cracks off $10 in just two weeks. Keep in mind that the US biofuel blending demand may pick back up if the Russian ban is short, but you've got to be in it to rin it.